Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fabulous day so far. Today's video is my August favorites. I know we're like mid-September right now, or almost. Okay, we're a third of the way into September, but I was sitting down the other day and realized that I forgot to do my August favorites, so I figured better late than never. If you want to see what I used or got new or just liked overall, what my favorites were in August, then just keep watching. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the Maybelline Master Contour. This is a really cool product because it is two-sided. It has your concealer shade as well as your contour shade. Now I don't use the concealer shade because this one is too um, kind of yellow for my skin and I have a very like pink undertone, cool, or sometimes neutral, but most of the time cool, depends on the foundation or concealer. But um, so I use the contour shade and I really like it. A little bit does go a long way. This blends out super easy. You can use like a stippling brush or I like to use my sponge sometimes. So I really like this product and I also really like it for client makeup um, because if you do have someone who kind of fits this tone, this is like a really good full coverage concealer. So I'll like swatch and you'll be able to see let me blend it in with my finger that's the other thing you can this stuff is so creamy and blendable this is a really nice creamy blended product so there it is right there on my hand blend it out super easily I'll do the contour one two Yeah, as you can see in a couple of seconds, there's no harsh line there, so this is a really great product. You can buy this anywhere that Maybelline is, so if you're looking for something new to highlight and contour with, you can totally find this in your shade. I just bought this for like my client makeup um, because I'd run out of like more yellow tone stuff and stuff for people with like darker complexions, so I recommend. This specific one is in the shade Deep and it's number 020. Next up among my cream products, I have a NYX Bright Idea Illuminating Stick, and this, I, I like, I love this one. This one is in the shade Pearl Pink Lace. It is so pretty. So there it is right there. This, just like the Maybelline product, blends out so easy. It's so pretty. So that's a look at that. This is perfect, again, for clients. This is so easy to use. You can use it underneath your foundation, on top of your foundation. You can use it as like a base for a highlight, so something that your highlight will stick to. I really like this. I think NYX did a really good job, and this does stay on quite a while for me. Okay, so we're kind of having a NYX day here. This is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This one is in the shade Brunette, and this is actually what I use for my eyebrows today. Like I mentioned in my previous eyebrow tutorial, I tend to go back and forth between gels, powders, and pencils, and I fell back in love with the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I've heard a lot of people can kind of compare this and call this a dupe to the Anastasia Brow Wiz, which is pretty nice. This is... I want to say $6, but I'm not sure. I'll have everything listed below in the description box. You can click on the links and find out how much everything is. But this is such a good pencil. This is like a perfect match for my hair. My hair is actually wet right now, but it's a really good match like all the time. I have um, back here in my makeup stash, I have definitely a couple more of these. I dye my hair in the fall, so I have like darker ones, and I also have lighter ones for when it's in the summer. So yeah, I really like their NYX brow pencils. This is the NYX HD Concealer in the shade CW01. This is, I think, one of their most like pale concealers, which is great because I did not get a tan at all over the summer, unfortunately. I was either doing stuff for YouTube, like filming and editing, or at work, or in summer school. Um, so, that was my summer. But anyway, I really like this concealer because of the texture of it. I've mentioned before that I really like light products like I don't like anything creamy I do not like like thick doesn't slide down your hand foundations I don't like that I really like stuff that blends out easy more lightweight kind of water based so I just blended that out and it was flawless and this is a perfect highlight shade that's not too light for my under eye and not too dark for my under eye so I really like the NYX HD concealer this is one of my faves Again, from NYX, I have some of their lip liners. These are some of the most inexpensive, really good, 
old-fashioned pencil lip liners. Um, so if you do client makeup, these are super, super easy to use. They just glide right on. They have really nice color to them. There's one I haven't opened yet, but this one right here that I'm swatching is Kane's. It's that more pink one towards the center of my hand. And is this Kane's? This is Kane's. Yeah. So this, um, these lip liners, sorry, I'm like tongue twisted today. These lip liners are actually supposed to go with their soft matte lip creams. And I also do have the Kane's soft matte lip creams. But since this is such like a pink, this is a really good lip liner for a pinky nude lipstick. Like no matter if it's a more pink lipstick that's also nude or if it's really nude with some pink undertones to it, this lip liner is perfect for that lipstick. And then I also got um, another one of their soft matte cream lip liners. This one goes with Copenhagen, which is that really dark purpley burgundy color that's perfect for fall. I can't wait to film with that lip liner and that lip. I think I'm going to do a look around it. Um, but anyway, these are so inexpensive, so good for client makeup, so easy to sanitize. All you have to do is kind of sharpen the tip and then whatever was on top, whatever germs were on the tip of that pencil are gone. So these are super easy. Love them. Super inexpensive. They're great. Next, also from NYX, is the lip I'm wearing today. This is one of their Velvet Matte Lipsticks in the shade Charm. So this is what it looks like on a very pale person. Um, I normally, like, I like matte lipsticks. I love the look of them. I think they're so beautiful. But if you're like me and you have, like, dry lips, matte lips are not fun to wear. Like, even liquid lipsticks, they're fun to wear for, like, the first 20 minutes. And then you can see stuff, like, kind of flake and everything sets into the, like, lip wrinkles. And it's just not too cute. But I really like this lip because the NYX soft, like, like these are, the name speaks for itself. These are the velvet matte lipsticks. My lips feel velvety, but my lips are matte. Like, it's the most smooth, best textured lip, matte lip that I've ever experienced in my life. So, um, for you girls who have kind of dry lips, I would highly recommend the velvet matte lipsticks from NYX. They are so good they come in a bunch of pretty pretty colors and last but not least i know i know i know i know that you guys are so sick of hearing me mention this mascara but honestly the djv volume lash mascara i'm obsessed like i use this every single day every day top and bottom lashes i've not touched any of my old maybelline mascaras which i really did like this completely blew it out of the water. I love the formula. I love what it does to my lashes. I love the wand. I love everything about this mascara. You guys have seen my before and afters um, using this mascara, so that's another reason why I like it. Like I said, it honestly, total, total volume. It's amazing. So that kind of wraps up my August faves. I don't really have too much, and of course, everything was from NYX. I love NYX so much. But um, a lot of good stuff for people who have clients, and even if you just want to get it for yourself. I really like all these products. I hope you guys like them too. So let me know down below what you guys loved in August, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. First, we're going to light a candle and put this all up in my hair.